Now we'll look at the Florida counties that have ordered evacuations from Nassau here in our part of the state to Palm Beach County to our south. The list, which includes mandatory and voluntary evacuations, also includes Duval, Putnam, St. John's, and Flagler counties. Clay County is ordering evacuations starting tomorrow for zones A and B. And mandatory evacuations are also in effect right now in coastal Georgia. Those evacuations started at 8 this morning for both Glynn and Camden counties for those who live east of I-95. Now to our beaches where a mandatory evacuation order began at 8 o'clock this morning. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci joins us live from the Beaches Town Center in the middle of Neptune and Atlantic Beach. Vic, how's it going? You know, Mary and Tom, it's a great night. It's actually really beautiful. You got a nice breeze. The rain has gone away. But don't be fooled. That's what experts here say. Look, you got people, they're out and about. They're having fun. They're enjoying themselves in what's probably their last night of good weather here. But people are prepared. Most of the businesses are boarded up or they have some sort of tarp. We've got sandbags here. This is North Beach Fish Camp, normally packed at this time of day. Other restaurants are open but they plan on closing a little bit later this evening, some 8 o'clock, some 10 p.m. Now, I want to show you some video we shot not too long ago. This is a couple hundred yards from where I am standing. It is the berms. These are berms right in between Atlantic Beach and Neptune Beach, giant sand dunes normally where the lifeguard trucks and the police vehicles can come and go. The point of that is to stop the water from flowing in. We are expecting astronomically high tides, extremely rough surf, and some strong storm surge. So that's why they decided to build up really what's like a 15 to 20 foot dune to protect all the businesses, the shops and the homes here in Neptune and Atlantic Beach. And lifeguards are urging people stay off the beach. Right now it's not that bad, but it's gonna de deteriorate very quickly. We're also getting a swell from a high pressure system. So it's, it's kind of like the perfect storm and it's just not advisable to be out there at all. You're really putting your life at risk. All right, so we're back out here live. You can see some of these restaurants have large crowds because there's fewer and fewer places to eat or drink. Let me break it to you. This is one reason why some people are gonna be evacuating. Not only the issues with the power or water, potentially if we get a hard hit, but at eight o'clock here in Neptune Beach and Atlantic Beach, they are cutting off alcohol sales. Yeah, there's not gonna be any alcohol sales. Any of the beaches out here, that's a safety issue. So the restaurants can remain open for now. The bars will have to stop serving at 8 p.m. And I, I checked with the grocery store. There's a Publix, there's a Winn-Dixie out here not too far from where I'm standing. They're gonna stay up for a couple more hours. I think the Publix is gonna close at eight. Winn-Dixie probably nine o'clock. At last check, they did have water. They had a lot of supplies, a lot of people making that beeline to grab their supplies, whether they're sticking out here or they're evacuating. We're live in the Beaches Town Center. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.